Subject Details When you first enter the Subject Details portion, enter your subject pertinent details in the value boxes below the variable names. You can add any variable you think may be significant simply by going to Add a Variable and scrolling through the list of available variables. After you select the variable, enter your subject details and click Save. Also, you can remove any variable that you do not deem significant simply by clicking the red X. After you've entered all of your subject details, click Save. Visual Review of Data The Subject Details portion of the PEARS platform was designed to give the valuation professional a quick way to review the distribution of data in the analysis and identify potential significance of certain variables on a linear basis. First, the center histogram displays the distribution of the variable in the data set being analyzed. If you want an expanded view, click into the histogram. You can now cascade over the candles for deeper research. The frequency indicates the number of properties and the unit price indicates the range in which those properties fall within. For example, in this candle, there are 21 records ranging between 1,554 square feet to 1,574 square feet. Click Close to collapse the expanded graph. The scatter plot to the far right is a linear regression output of the variable and shows an initial correlation of that variable to price. Of course, an increasing trend line indicates a positive significance, whereas a declining trend line indicates a negative correlation to prices in that variable. You can enter this graph at any time by clicking with your mouse. At the upper portion of the expanded graph is the least squares linear regression output. Remember, this is only an initial analysis and is performed prior to the application of market rate adjustments and the results may change when a market rate is applied. Again, anytime you wish to exit a expanded graph, simply click Close. As stated earlier, this visual review of your data is to give you an initial representation prior to the application of market condition adjustments. We've shown you positive correlated variables as well as negatively correlated variables. Some of the variables you quickly review may look neutral. However, again, you may not want to remove that variable just yet until after the application of market condition adjustments as that may change the significance in the variable. Data filtering options. If during your initial review of data, you would like to further filter your data, you can do so under the value box of the subject details in limited fields where it says range. To filter on livable area, enter a factor to signify a percentage amount of deviation from your subject properties details. For example, Entering a factor of 10 only analyzes properties within plus or minus 10% of the subject's value for that variable. If you apply a filter, you can easily see the impact of the filter to your number of records for analysis by looking at the sub-market statistic. The valid number indicates the total number of valid sales in the data set, and the sub-market number indicates the number of sales within the filter you just applied. You can also also re-enter the graphs to see the initial findings again and their potential impact on changing your data set by that filter. After entering all of your subject details and performing a visual review of your data, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Save. You can now proceed to the market analysis portion of the platform.